um, Tanisha, I, I've been asked by the family of a constituent of mine, Ruth Morrissey, to raise her case. She um, unfortunately has cervical cancer and uh, was failed by the state and the HSE in the cervical cancer screening um, programme. Now, last May, the, Tana, the Taoiseach said on the live 6-1 television news in relation to people who had to go to court uh, to seek damages uh, and all the trauma that goes with that. Uh, he said, what we propose to do is to offer mediation in every case so that women can avoid having to go to court and the trauma of a court hearing. He went on to say, what we will do in this situation is the state will settle and pursue the lab later. So essentially the state will be on the side of the plaintiff, on the side of the woman. Now, on, late on Monday, uh, Ruth Morrissey was summoned uh, to the High Court for yesterday, where she was subjected to a pretty robust and traumatising uh, cross-examination by counsel for the HSE. And uh, her family are quite upset about it, and I think it um, draws into question seriously the commitments which were given to the women by the Taoiseach, uh, namely that uh, mediation would be offered. So what I want to ask you is, are, are you happy that uh, the mediation process, which the Attorney General was supposed to uh, uh, counsel the state claims agency to enter into in a meaningful way. Are you happy that that is happening? Are you satisfied that Thank the women the uh, who have been failed in this regard uh, are being treated sensitively uh, and properly by the state's claims Honest agency to. and that a proper mediation process Honest is being to. engaged in? Um, well, first of all, can I acknowledge the um, uh, the the difficulty and the heartache that uh, Ruth Morrissey and, and her family have have had to go, go through in the context of the cervical check scandal. And there are many other uh, victims uh, and families that are in that category too. Uh, and the state's only objective is to try to um, support those people as best we can, uh, to try to keep people out of court uh, and to ensure that there are uh, uh, settlements uh, that are uh, fair, uh, uh, available, uh, to, to the women and families involved. Uh, that is why yesterday, uh, on leaders' questions, I announced the detail of the ex gratia scheme, which is being set up now uh, under the chairmanship of a, uh, of a retired High Court judge, uh, so that we can ensure um, that families and victims and individuals get the support uh, that the state uh, wants to make available to them. Uh, I don't have the exact details in relation to the, to the legal arguments around this case, uh, deputies, so I'm, I'm slow to comment on a court case, but I know certainly that the policy direction from the government is very clear here to the State Claims Agency. Uh, we want to try to keep these cases out of court uh, so that people don't have to go through uh, what is an ad adversarial uh, court system uh, in relation to um, assessing the, the extent of, uh, of claims and, and compensation. Okay.